investigating for you. This is News for Tucson, live at 5. A warning from the Centers for Disease Control today, just as prime flu season begins. Good evening, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Tom and Christy are off. And we begin with this year's flu vaccine. It may have missed the mark. If you already got your shot, you may not be protected by the most common form of the virus this flu season. News for Tucson's Lauren Reimer found out more on what that means for you. The CDC discovered the H3N2 strand. On to our other top story this evening, the wet and soggy weather. The rain coming early this morning causing several accidents around town during rush hour, but mostly just slow going on very wet streets. This storm, remnants from the heavy rain in Southern California. We'll have more on that in a moment, but first let's check in with meteorologist John Patrick. John? And earlier today, the Arizona football team traveled to Santa Clara, California for what is arguably the biggest game in school history on the gridiron. Tomorrow night, the Cats will play in their first Pac-12 championship game. The opponent is a familiar one, number two ranked Oregon. The Ducks' only loss this year came at home here to the Wildcats. And if the Cats can beat Oregon for a third straight time, it would be Arizona's first ever conference championship in football. Here's what the Wildcats meet the Oregon Ducks for the Pac-12 championship game this Friday in Santa Clara, California. Game time, 7 p.m. News for Tucson Sports Director Paul Cicala is there, and we will bring you full coverage beginning tonight on News 4 at 6. Well, if at first you don't succeed, try again tomorrow. NASA's Orion spacecraft did not get off the ground this morning. Today's launch was scrubbed after multiple delays. Causes included a stray boat in the launch danger zone. Excessive wind and fuel drain valve problems. That's right. NASA says it will try again at 5.05 Tucson time tomorrow morning. Get up early. It's the test flight NASA hopes one day will help send humans to Mars. And up next, she may be having some tough battles, but this Christie's kid wants you to know all about the disease she's fighting head on. And later, 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, all decked out for the holidays. We'll go inside for a peek. This is News 4 Tucson, live at 5. It has been a rough couple of days for one Tucson teenager. On Wednesday, doctors at Diamond Children's took a biopsy of Kelsey Loria's bone marrow. Today, she begins her second cycle of chemotherapy to fight a rare blood cancer. A cancer Kelsey wants you to know more about. She's one of Christie's kids. Here's News 4 Tucson's Christy Tedesco. All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, nice suit. Yeah, thanks. We're, we're still in here. <laughs> we, we called each other up before the yeah, show. Yeah, we did. Uh, you know, I was out at the uh, KVOA Client Appreciation Golf event this morning. Yeah, and I went out there about 11 o'clock. It was pouring. And then uh, within an hour, we were out on the course. The skies opened. It was yeah. beautiful. I only got about 12 holes in, which is a good thing because it was yeah. much more beautiful than my swing. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure today. it was. Yeah, you know, this afternoon, uh, those skies gave way, and yeah, just a beautiful wrap to our Thursday here. But, you know, Sean, mm -hmm. I think most Southern Arizonans, the afternoon should be looking pretty good. So come and, on out uh, and say hi. That's right. We'll all be there, and yeah. this is the place to be in the country. Oh, yeah, definitely. And I think a dog named Dakota might think <laughs> the same thing. I think you're right. Because Dakota is now snug and warm thanks to a local fire department in Maine. Dakota fell through the ice on a lake in Southern Maine. Dakota's owner, Linda Park, realized she couldn't rescue her dog, so she called the Waterboro Fire Department. The firefighters say Dakota was tired and cold when they got to him, but he's doing fine now. I have a feeling Dakota wants a dog sweater for Christmas. Still to come, Capitol Hill takes on sex assaults in the military and how they're reported. And a look at our Newsport Tucson Skynet camera at Speedway and Country Club. It started out wet. Now it's beautiful. Stay with us.